My name is Aaron Bordstein. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Cognitive Science here at UC Irvine. Most recently, I'm coming from Princeton University, where I was a postdoc at the Neuroscience Institute. And before that, I got a PhD at NYU in Manhattan, studying cognitive neuroscience. I study memory. And the focus of the research of my lab is memory and humans. And when I tell people that I meet that I study memory, they universally, every single one, tell me, oh, I have such terrible memory, I should be a subject in your studies. And I say to them, you should be a subject in my studies, but not because you have a bad memory, but because you have a very good memory. It's just that everyone thinks they have a bad memory because they think of memory as being used for the sorts of things that we talk about all the time, like verbally describing what I had for dinner in Texas six years ago. But the way we actually use memory on a daily basis is to draw on individual experiences from the past and use them to make decisions in new environments, in new ways, generalizing from previous individual experiences that we've had. And this happens every day in all kinds of situations, and it turns out, via studies that I've performed and others, that we're very good at that kind of memory. We can draw on memories from well into the past, and they can stick with us all through our lives. So I think this is important because memory is the most idiosyncratic feature of cognition. No two people have the same exact memories, not even identical twins raised together. And if we can understand something about the individuality of memory, we can understand something about the individuality of decisions that are based on memory. Current work in my lab is applying these ideas in the study of economic decisions or in areas where decisions go wrong, like in addiction. I came to UC Irvine because I am really excited by the opportunity here to join world-class expertise in the neurobiology of learning and memory with world-class expertise in the computational and statistical modeling of cognition and the mind. And uniting these two techniques and these two bodies of knowledge is at the core of my research, and I'm really excited to see what I can do with the resources available here.